Danny Kay. Oh, well, it's my average radio listener. Yeah, the man in the street. I want to talk to you about your program. Okay, what about my program? That's what drove me out in the street. <laughs> Starting already, huh? Look, what makes you think you're qualified to criticize my program anyway? Oh, I make a regular study of comedy programs, Kay. You do? When any other comedian comes on the air, I sit in the living room and wait for him to get off a joke. Oh, and when I come on? I sit in the park and wait for you to get off the air. <laughs> Did you ever stop to think that maybe the reception on your radio isn't so good? Uh, what kind of current do you use? DC. But when you're on, I'd rather have AC. Alternating current? Nah, Abbott and Costello. <laughs> Look, chum, you know, in spite of your attitude, I really appreciate your criticism, and I'd like to do something nice for you. Oh, yeah? Like, for instance, what? Well, I'd like to send you on an ocean voyage. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, an all-expense cruise on a torpedo. <laughs> I'm surprised at you talking like that, Kay. And after all the work I've done to try and improve your program. What have you done to improve my program? I've been trying to get you off it, ain't I? That's enough, fella. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dick Joy introducing the Danny Kay Show with Butterfly McQueen, Dave Terry and his orchestra, and our special guest this evening, Mr. Arthur Treacher. And now, here's the star of our show... Danny Kaye! Danny starts the show off tonight with a number from the Samuel Goldwyn production, Wonder Man, The Valley Boogie. Somewhere off the coast of Java fell a little piece of lava that grew up to be the island known as Bali. Ahi naha so ho la he ba ha do he ta he ta. Every native girl looks sort of like the farmer's daughter or the and for a dancing they are simply of their trolley. Me he see he ko ni he wa ha me. But they hadn't seen a new step since Methuselah did the two-step on their isolated island. They were way off beat from Jive. They were closeted till a storm deposited on the beach of Jive. And Jack from Lower Basin Street, he went up and got a look in. And he said, hey, hey, what's cooking? This here joint is jumping, but with melancholy. So he took their native movements, added in the groove improvements, and here's the way it's played on the Bali Hit Parade. Ha, ha! Bataka boy boy, yak bataka zoo, zoo. Bataka boy boy, yak bataka, reef beaten. Bataka boy boy, yak bataka, lion jive, a hockey doo doo, Chattanooga valley boogie. A waka song, slick lick. A waka song, song a hawaka, head step. A waka song, song a hawaka, lion jive, a hockey doo doo, Chattanooga valley boogie. Now if you can't dig the chatter with the greatest of bees, it really doesn't matter. Here's the translation, please. A yaga. Bataka boy boy go walk a walk a sign sign me shoot the pinky to me stinky Bataka boy slick lick Bataka boy head step Bataka boy boy at Bataka live dive a hockey to to Chattanooga Bali boogie.
Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the citizens of Lower Slobovia. Are you listening, little Abner? <laughs> Danny, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about my favorite comic strip character, Dick. Don't tell me you haven't heard of little Abner. Oh, well, sure, but uh, what about him? Well, he's offered to marry Lena the hyena rather than permit Lester Gooch, creator of Fearless Fosdick, to languish in a Slobovian dungeon. Well, yes, but uh, what has that got to do with you, Danny? Plenty. His girlfriend, Daisy May, stopped me on the street yesterday and begged me to make this plea. So, little Abner, wherever you are, listen. <laughs> Don't marry that gal From Lena the hyena Stay away Drop that drip from Lois Labovia Little Abner, what's come over you? Think of Daisy May Little Abner Don't marry that gal even fearless positive, he would say. Lester Gooch is just a moocher if he lets you spoil your future with no Daisy May. Oh, little Lavender, you're making a horrible mistake, little Lavender. <laughs> Lena's no gal for you. <laughs> they wanted her to star in that picture, The Morgue That Marry Her. But instead she went into the lost weekend. <laughs> that weekend wasn't lost. <laughs> it was hiding. <laughs> Why, everybody knows her. But Tooth Lena. The only girl who can eat a sandwich through a Venetian blind. <laughs> She's so lovely. She's engaged. She should live so long. <laughs> Little Abner. <laughs> Don't marry that gal. <laughs> Some men will grab off Daisy. Some fine day. <laughs> There's just one man she wants grabbing her. That's a yokum son named Abner. So please come back to Daisy May. How do you, Mr. K? No doubt you remember me. I was here before in the interest of Mr. Basil Rathbone. Oh, yes, yes. You're his lawyer. Right, sir. I was at the time a member of the legal firm of Peabody, Hammer Mill, Forsyth, Glendon, Inc., Frobisher, Pepper, and Breckenridge, Witherspoon, Parkhurst, and Fabersham. And what was your name again? Driscoll. <laughs> However, sir, I should like you to know that I have severed connections with the firm of Peabody, Hammer Mill, Forsyth, Glendon, Inc., Frobisher, Pepper, and Breckenridge, Witherspoon, Parkhurst, and Fabersham. Oh, in business for yourself, Driscoll? Uh, in a manner of speaking, yes. I now make my offices with the legal firm of Glenroy, Gatesworthy, Orkin, Lake, Partridge, Swinburne, Featherstone, Marblehead, and Gate. <laughs> oh, well, what happened with Peabody, Hammond, Moforsyth, Glendon, and Frobisher, Pepsham, Berkeridge, Witherspoon, Parkhurst, and Favisham? Hmm? <laughs> a bit of bitterness, Mr. K. I'm afraid I'm suing them. Oh, and who's handling the case? Glenroy, Gatesworthy, Orkin, Lake, Partridge, Swinburne, Featherstone, Marblehead, and Gage? Oh, no, 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 that wouldn't be ethical. Uh. I've called in the firm of Peverly, Hetherington, Allen, Big Dill, Martin, Primrose, Scroffingsway, Claypool, Underwood, Kimbler, and Surrey. And which member of the firm is handling your case? My brother-in-law. <laughs> O'Reilly. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, my sister married an Irishman. <laughs> Now they're sneaking it in backwards. 
<laughs> Look, Mr. Driscoll, just what is your business with me? Uh, I, sir, am here on behalf of my client, Mr. Arthur Treacher. Mm -hmm. There are certain things you must not discuss with Mr. Treacher when he appears with you on the wireless. On the wireless, I see, and uh, radio, that is, you know. What things are those? You must not say anything about his British friends. I see. Nothing about his cinema career. Nothing about the way he dresses. Mm -hmm. Nothing about his playing a butler. And you must not say anything about his personal life. Well, if the fellow sneezes, can I say Gesundheit? <laughs> uh, bless you will be sufficient. <laughs> and now, with your permission, sir, I shall buzz off. Permission granted. <laughs> and I'd better get my secretary to jot down some of these taboos. Oh, uh, Miss McQueen. Butterfly McQueen. Here I am, Mr. Craig. I haven't seen you all day, Miss McQueen. How have you been? Ready to blow. <laughs> well, so long. Wait, wait a minute, Miss McQueen. I want you to jot down some of the topics that are taboo for our guest star. Oh, I'm glad he's our guest tonight. Glad who's our guest? Taboo, the elephant boy. <laughs> the elephant boy is not our guest, Miss McQueen. It's Arthur Treacher. Now, I want you to jot down the things Mr. Treacher and I cannot discuss. Shall I jot them down in shorthand or longhand, Mr. Craig? Oh, which is faster? Longhand, naturally. <laughs> what do you mean, naturally? I never learned shorthand. <laughs> well, just take this down, Miss McQueen. You ready? Ready. Oh, we must not mention A, Mr. Treacher's English cohorts. How do you spell that, Mr. Craig? How do you spell what? A. <laughs> You'll find it in the dictionary under T. Now, let's continue. We must not mention A, Mr. Treacher's English cohorts, B, his career as a butler, C, the way he dresses, D, his motion pictures, and E, his personal life. You got that, Miss McQueen? Not quite all of it, Mr. K. I just got A, B, C, and D. Oh, well, then uh, read that back. Okay. A, B, C, D. <laughs> but, Miss McQueen, what comes after those letters? You'll find it in the dictionary under S. Well, I tell you what you do, Miss McQueen. Just type up what you've got, Miss McQueen. Make three clean copies. And then throw them away. All right. And I'll make one extra copy to throw away for your file. Mm hmm All three the snipples What well, what is that? <laughs> All three the snipples line, Mr. K. All three the snipples line, Mr. K? Let's try that once again, huh? <laughs> Oh, I'll make one extra copy to throw away for your files. Now you go. Oh, Venus Snickles, I'm... <laughs> Honey, we, let's just once more. I think we can make it this time. I really do. Good. I'll tell you what you do. Just tap up what you've got and then make the three up and now. Now you say it. And I'll make one extra copy to throw away for your files. Uh-huh. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. I'm in a fine spot with all these taboos now. Now I got Miss McQueen on my mind. Well, all I can do is try and make the dear old chap feel at home. It's the treacher, you know. I just... Oh, do enter, won't you? Hello, Danny. Well, bless my meter's marmalade. It's Arthur Treacher. <laughs> nice of you to ask me over, Danny. How have you been? Oh, top... Oh, old boy. <laughs> Top! Oh, dear old tin of fruit, simply ripping. What? What? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> well, what's the difference so long as it rips? I haven't felt so jolly well cricket since I left dear old London, you know. Oh, the tight little isle, I know it well. From Ramsgate to Graveson, from Brighton to Bathside, from Soho to Limehouse, and from Limehouse to Blues. <laughs> yes, this man is a mental case. Danny, um, I never knew you'd been to England. Oh, yes, yes, Arthur, old boy. I shall never forget the summer I spent in a charming village called Easy on the Butter. <laughs> oh, the days I spent strolling through the moors, the dank, dim, and dinty moors. <laughs> and the heather, the hot summer heather, 
Of course, I always wore a pair of heavy scones to keep my crumpets from getting too tippin'. <laughs> this kid is positively snapping his cap. <laughs> Can't help it, old chap. I'm simply stuffed with memories of quaint old England. Ah, your petrol details. Yes, over here we call them gas stations. <laughs> In those jolly old lips. Yes, over here we call them elevators. Ah, oh, dear old England, Arthur, old Treach, where we used to ride to the hunt. I can hear myself now calling to the hounds. On Donner, on Blitzen, off Dancer, off Dancer. There's nothing like a hunting dog with nice big antlers. <laughs> Quiet. On my last hunt, there were ten of us chaps. How we did tally her. Mm. <laughs> I'll bet you did, you and those nine other yoiks. <laughs> Look, Danny, what are you trying to prove with this dialect of yours? I was just trying to make you feel at home, Arthur. Why? What's wrong with my English accent? You sound like Nigel Bruce talking through Basil Rathbone's nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to do something after all those taboos your lawyer told me about. Oh, it's a lot of nonsense, Danny. I never pay any attention to him. Wait a minute. You mean he was just here wasting our time? Certainly not. He got a few laughs, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Knockwood. And you mean you'll do anything? Oh, of course. You know, I'll even do that operetta you had me rehearsing all day. The one about the Countess of Coney Island. Oh, very good, sir! <laughs> Dave, hand me up a fan Father only got three cheers, but I want four. Round it! Round it! Throw up by my The Brooklyn. Hear ye, hear ye. Make way for King Danny the K, King of Brooklyn, Emperor of Flatbush, Monarch of Green Pert, and Exalted Czar of Cooney Island. Hooray! Hey, gentle subjects. On this here day of my coronation here, I feel I ought to say something to you there. That comes straight from the heart here, there. So I say to you all, shut up! <laughs> and now, no nose preacher, the Prime Minister of Prospect Park, would also like to say something to you straight from his heart. My good people, all I can say is, Ah, your father takes baths. <laughs> oh, good King D, we worship thee. And furthermore, furthermore, if moiter gets you foiter, then we'll moiter more. Moiter more. Other kings may smell, but you are smell free. <laughs> you got baseball bats in the belfry. You have touched me to the quick, and that's the quickest touch you's ever made. <laughs> I want you all to know that as long as I'm the king of this here land, er, er, hey, there's nothing I wouldn't do for any of my subjects here, er, er, hey. <laughs> and now if I've said anything to offend any of yous, drop dead. <laughs> and now me, King Danny Decay, royal dispenser of justice, will commence the dispense with justice. Mmm, what's the face beat? Oh, your rural majesty. Speak up, countryman. I am Shaley, a gale. No dames, please. <laughs> your royal highness, you can see by the expression on her face that she's got a problem. I can see just by her face that she's got a problem. 
The next case. Well, King, this is a rather touchy subject. Your late father, Ernest the Lips, alias King Charlie the Chump, true to his title, mortgaged our ballpark to the hilt. The hilt, you say? <laughs> yes, and this mortgage has fallen into the hands of Queen Lee of Manhattan. Dad, Zooks, that shrew? What will we do? <laughs> do you? There is aught there but else there to do there. Get that dialect, will you? <laughs> Mary, the Queen of Manhattan, and the ballpark is ours. What's that you said? Me, the King of Brooklyn? The cultural center of the universe? Marry a barbarian? Never. Hmm. Her and her 32 teeth. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, her 32 teeth? Everyone has 32 teeth. Four on top and 28 on the bottom. <laughs> King, I hate to say this, but unless you marry Queen Lee of Manhattan, we are licked. But I can't marry Lee. I love a nutter. Ooh. In Brooklyn, we say whom. <laughs> All right. Whom doom you love? <laughs> I love Myrtle Knucklewurst of Coney Island. Myrtle Knucklewurst? Hey. You are a royalty and she is a commoner. Yeah, but what a built on her. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, she is a commoner and cannot marry above her station. What is her station? Brighton Beach. <laughs> oh, really? No, Ocean Parkway. <laughs> oh, oh, what, what a, a problem, problem, what a plot. Whom do I marry? Whom do I not? If king of Manhattan I should be, I could not no more say say to me. Oh, woe is he and woe is me. He could not no more say say to me. You gotta learn to say learn in New York. Unless you're learning to say loin of course. And when they say you're oily, it don't mean you've a greasy pate. And when they say you're oily, it don't mean that you're not late. What you've got to do is learn a new language to say sandwich and never say language. <laughs> to learn this new language, I refuse. I will never say you are he <laughs> instead of use. Oh, I can't go through with it. You got to. And besides, it ain't true. You mean it's a lie? No, it's true. Oh. Remember the H's. It ain't trust. It's thrust. It ain't tread. It's thread. It ain't trice. It's thrice. It ain't trill. It's thrill. Are you trying to make trouble for me? <laughs> In a minute, I'll change my mind. One, two, three. Your Highness. In New York, it's not three, it's three. Imagine that. A three grows in Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, okay, but you gotta go. Farewell, the king of tea. Farewell to thee. And so long, Myrtle, I'm going to Columbus Circle. For so long, have you ate there? I'm going to Broadway there. To save the Dodgers' clients, I'm making this alliance. No more will yell defiance at the Yankees and the Giants. I've got to save the mortgage. You'd better pack my luggage. Gone till June or August. Start wishing me bon mortgage. And no nose wait for me. Here, Here comes, comes the bride going, going off to wed Queen Lee. Queen Lee! Queen Lee! His Royal Highness King Danny the K of Brooklyn is here. Art thou certain that John Barlett is King Danny of Brooklyn? Oh, yea, verily. Enter King Danny. Thank you. Boy, what a built on him. <laughs> Enter and sit thou here beside me. Hey, chain off that charm now, Queenie. I'm here to talk turkey. Oh, fie on turkey. Let us remember our royal stations. First, we'll have tea. And I will pour. Cream. AIDS, Vibble. <laughs> Sugar. A lump. <laughs> Lemon. A squeeze. Tea. Never touch it. 
<laughs> now listen, Queenie, by some skullduggery, you got the Ebbetsfield mortgage away from my father, and I want it back. You can have it back after we're married. No marriage. No mortgage. Ah, uh, your mother wears shoes. <laughs> hey, your sister's blister. If you don't marry me, I'll stick my navy on you. Ah, uh, you and your big, fat fleet. <laughs> Almost missed that one. Who goes, Jan? It is I, Your Majesty. I bring news from Brooklyn. Where did you get it? The Daily Eagle just flew by. <laughs> Michael Knuckleverse lies in Cooney Island, grievously Illinois. That's grievously ill. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what happened, uh, bud? She was eating one of those foot-long hot dogs, and she got her head caught in the Frankfurter bun. <laughs> Gadzooks, was the bun empty? No, there was a hot dog in it. Thank heaven she ain't trapped in air without food. <laughs> Come, no-nosed creature. We must save her. But the mortgage. I'll attend to that later. <laughs> There's a crowd around the hot dog stand, no nose. Follow me, make way, stand aside. Look, preach. Michael's still in there. Hello, down there. Help me, help me. Look at, look at those crumbs. She's all covered with dough. That's terrible. That's great. With all that dough, we can pay off the mortgage on a ballpark. <laughs> at last, Michael and I can be married. But she is still a commoner, and you are still a royalty. Ah, uh, I'll fix that. Hey, Michael, can you hear me, Mike? With this mustard ladle, I dub thee Countess of Cooney Island. There's now no more deadlock concerning my wedlock. I'm Countess of Cooney Island. Imagine his Michael, his plain little title, and Countess of Cooney Island. There's a question I'd like to be popping you. Well, go on, I don't see nothing stopping you. Well, Myrtle, my title, I'll ask you real tight. Will you take me for better or worse as you chase? Kindly answer no or yes. You know the answer, of course. Ah, uh, romance. Ah, oh, Danny. Ah, uh, get out of there. Only for married and tight, we'll take married to hear love sweet all once again. Symphony, please. second, will you, Dave Terry? Will you please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to say a word to our armed forces radio listeners around the world. I speak. Good night. Dick Joy speaking. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. <laughs> 